Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and uh, I just wanted to make a quick blog video to uh, show you something that may be of interest to my viewers. Um, on my travels around the web, I found a interesting NVIDIA um, interactive demo, and it's called Gagan. And uh, well, let's just launch it and see what it does. Okay, so the left uh, side of the screen is basically the input side of the screen and the right side of the screen is the output side of the screen. And basically what this is, it uses deep learning artificial intelligence. Um, so NVIDIA have obviously fed, you know, this algorithm, their program, a huge data set. It's basically machine learning. Um, and instead of me waffling on it, it will probably be better if I just show you what it does. So... On the left-hand side here, we've got a list of uh, things like sky, tree, cloud, and so on. And each one of these items has a color associated with it. Now, this is kind of like our input map. And at the moment, we've got this uh, teal color, which represents uh, the sky. As you can see, these colors match. And this color here, I think, is the sea. So that's our current input. And if I press this button in the middle here you'll get a prompt saying you need to click a checkbox and you can find that down here. It's just to accept the terms and conditions. And then if I run this again, we should get a result. And as you can see, it's produced this almost photo real picture. And that's based on our input map here. So you can see the power of uh, AI and uh, machine learning. And it also provides us with a paintbrush and a fill tool as well. So we can actually start filling some of this in. You don't have to be super accurate. Accurate. It's basically just sort of a map of uh, segmentation. They call it a segmentation map. So I'm going to choose mountain and then this paintbrush. And then I'm going to start painting in a few more details. Something like that maybe. And just go across the bottom here. And I can go to my... F in fact, I'll do this the other side as well. And I can do something like this and uh, that. Then I can go to my fill tool, fill these in, and then we can kick this off again. And that's the result we get based on my input. So let's grab our paintbrush again, cloud. Um, what I might do is uh, make some cloud up here like this and maybe something like this in the middle as well. And then use my fill tool again. And there we go. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty impressive, to be honest. I mean, it's not perfect. It is a bit janky in some areas, but this is in beta at the moment. But you can see the potential for this, because if they could expand it so we can do this maybe 16 by 9 uh, ratio, it would be really helpful for producing original backgrounds, that kind of thing. So if they can get the resolution up and a 16 by 9 ratio, that would be great for that. What may even be more helpful to uh, 3D artists is if they could do an equilateral projection so we could make our own HDRIs, uh, something that could wrap around a, um, you know, like a spherical map. Uh, the next thing that I should probably talk about are these images at the bottom here. These are filters, so you will have the same input and the same output apart from a filter will be applied to the output. So if I choose this one here, we can see that it changes the picture to more of a sunny day, it's still based on this. And if I click on the first one, I think that was what we originally had, or at least similar. Um, but you can apply all these different filters to our image to get a different result which is very, very cool. Um, so, th so these top ones are basically almost like photographic filters. These bottom ones here are based on the style of artists. So they must have had their AI look at particular artists and figure out their style, basically. So let's click on one of these. There we go. Let's have a look at another one. So yeah, different art styles, basically. I'm going to go back to our sunny day. Okay, uh, let's add some more stuff in here. So uh, 
we can replace our C with grass if we wanted to. So let's do that. Take a look. <laughs> Excellent. And we can even uh, add some water in here as well. So let's grab our paintbrush and hmm, what have we got? We've got C. We've also got river. Let's add a river in here. So maybe do something like this. And then we can fill that in. Excellent. Uh, trees as well. So let's uh, grab some trees. Now I'm not sure how you'd go about doing this. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paint in a blob and see what happens. Really. Let's fill that in. I'm hoping that it denotes an area where trees go and I don't actually have to draw out the shape. Yeah, that seems to have worked pretty good. Um, I think we've got some other stuff in here, plants as well. So maybe some plants uh, along the river edge here. Let's try that. I don't know how well that's going to work. I haven't played with it too much. Yeah, you can see that it has added some kind of shrubbery and stuff there, but it's not worked as well as I'd have uh, hoped. But uh, like I said, this is in beta, but it's definitely interesting. So let's get our grass back because that obviously wasn't great. What else have we got in here? We've got snow, we've got water. You can add a road in there if you want. Lots of stuff. Uh, I think there was rocks in here as well. So let's maybe um, uh, add an area where rocks are, maybe. I wonder if it will actually do like a rocky... I don't know. Let's try something like that and see how it turns out. That's not half bad. But yeah, anyway, I thought it'd be of a point of interest for you guys. You can download your images as well. You can download the input and the output, so um, that's all good. So it's good that you can download the input because you can re-upload it later using uh, these. So upload segmentation map, which is pretty much what this is, but you could load it back in, try a different filter, and then download a different output. So that's really handy. We've also got this part here called upload landscape image. So if I go to browse, I've got one on my desktop and upload this. You can actually see it's uh, taken that image, which I've got here. This is the image that I've input and it's broken it up into this segmentation map. And if I press this button again, it's created this type of image. And uh, let's try a different filter, maybe. Something like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I actually quite like the sunny one, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So this is what we input, and that and that's what we've got out there. So, uh, yeah, you can upload actual images as well. You can also upload style filters as well. So I could use the same image in the style filter part and upload it. And you can see that it's added it here. So what it will do is take samples of the colors and uh, apply that as a filter. There we go. So as you can see, the colors are quite similar now, but we've created a completely new image from uploading an image. And you can also alter this map again now. So if I wanted to, I could grab the river again and um, paint in a section like this. Let's get rid of that blob at the bottom there and then use the fill tool. I think we've got a spot there as well and then generate again. So you can do a mix of, oh look at that. So you can do a mix of uploading a photo, using it as a filter and adding your own segments in there as well. So yeah, really, really good. So I just wanted to show you that quick guys. I thought it might be of interest and um, I'll put a link to this in the description of the video and the description on the website as well. Okay guys, cheers for listening.
For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.